Okay. I'm out here. Take a wild guess what I'm doing. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm painting. When I left my car before I went to America, I didn't finish the front bit. And I want to do some more to the, this side of it. I'm really happy with how this side came out. So I'm not going to mess with that. Alright, just letting the, that bit dry for now. Uh, it's already looking better. It's nice and blue. Um, <laughs> uh, now I'm going to use, well when that's dry, I'm going to use this pink and use the stencil my sister made. And I'm basically just going to cover, I'm just going to do bits of it along. I also added a bit more blue over here. I want to add more, but I need um, I need like some finer caps that I left in the house. I do like finer lines. Like you see how I've gotten these really thin lines. I need that cap to do the edges because right now it's just tacky. But uh, yeah, it's got a bit more blue. I also sprayed <laughs> sprayed that for no reason at all. <laughs> oh, this is turning out so beautifully. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm so glad it worked. Ah, oh, sick. All right, this is what it looks like for now. Uh, it's really subtle. I'm not really an expert with stencils, so what I'm gonna do is wait for my sister to come home and see if she can make it look a bit better. But for now, I dig it. I like the uh, bright pink against the blue and green. Sick. It looks better than what it used to look like. Anyway, this is the best it has looked ever, so I'm stoked with it. All right, there is no more sun. It is all gone, so we're gonna go home. Where did everybody go? My friend's place. My friend's place. I've had some mushrooms. Just waiting for them to kind of ease in. Not too many. I just want sound to be a bit better. Got some decks over there. Got this light going on here. Check out this painting. It's like an amazing painting. All of the negative space has been filled with another shape. So I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it pretty well. Each of these creatures, everything fills every space. It's amazing. There's a bunch of people here, but they're all kind of dispersed around the area. I'm just chilling because I'm letting the mushrooms ease into me. I get so. Uh... Still feel safe. Like I was, I thought coming back here would give me like a weird vibe, but I feel safe. That thing over there glows red at night time. That was the only thing giving me any kind of compass. That's how I knew where to go. Because my, I live, I live that way. That's all I knew. currently have on the Fractal store. Um, if you didn't know, I have a little store where I sell crystal necklaces, just like this one right here. These are all the ones I have. in the description. Uh, if you want to get one of these that I've been wearing for months, uh, these are in the description too. Go get them while I still have them, please, because uh, they sell out pretty fast actually. So. We are about to bleach my roots because my roots are getting dark again. Stripped out of my hair, so I'm back to blonde. 
now we're gonna put the blue in. so nice having fresh roots again. You guys might have seen last year, I left it for like a year before doing it. Basically because the only person I trust with my hair is, is Alethea. Uh, you've probably seen her in like years and years worth of my hair videos, she's always the one that does my hair. She's very talented and if you want to get your hair done by her, she's in South Wales. If you're in that area, her name is Alethea. Uh, she has Instagram and Facebook, it's just uh, Hair by Leith. Links in the description. Yeah, she's very talented, she knows what she's doing. She's quick and she always does it perfect. So nice one, Leith. Thanks for that. She used to live here, but now she lives in South Wales, so. That's what I said. Aha, that's what I'm saying. Yay! Right now I'm at my sister's place and I'm up a tree. But it's like I think a storm hit last night. So it's really windy. Apparently Wales is really bad, but luckily I'm not there. Oh, Drew, come on, Drew, come on. Oh. We're buying the ingredients for Drew's video. A teaspoon of vanilla essence, you need vegetable oil, and then plain chocolate vegetable chips. Oil, instead of vegetable oil, we're using um, the coco virgin coconut oil. We need to get a spicy virgin for our sacrifice. Can I show you your awesome room? Your awesome. Can I show them your awesome room? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This is like your old one because you put posters all over it. Yeah, just fill it with little uh, magazine. Like. So dope. It's like anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be making some edibles. Uh, okay, mixed vegan edibles. Vegan edibles. Vegan edibles. Super strong, medicinal edibles. Vegan. Behind the scenes of insane, extremely strong 800 milligram edible. It's vegan style. So this is 1500 milligrams of hash oil. Behind the scenes. It's actually 1600. 1600. Oh. That's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> it's really liquid. Yes, it is. It's way too liquid. Made a bit of a mess. Ready? So much, so many options.
Chipotle. No. We're at the White House. <laughs> Dude. How was your Chipotle? I've eaten nine Chipotles out of seven Chipotles. Good. 